All right, yes. Once again, we are here. The attention get us. T A G tag. Ethio South Music. Stop at Media Productions. G M R N S TV. And as you've heard me say before, we got one of the main participators again, one of the main contributors to the production of the show. We're going to let her go ahead and introduce herself. And if you please, could let the people know a little something about yourself. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, that dang Rima. You know, that's my new alter ego that I'm coming out of my shell with. I'm okay. excited to show y'all who she is, but originally known as Karima. Y'all might know me as the crochet lady. Y'all might know me as rep a representative and the owner and founder of Natural Vibes. Okay, yeah. You know, so, yeah, from Tampa. Been doing my thing for a minute with this crochet thing with them hooks and a yarn and, you know, I'm excited to be here with GMR and STV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So, yes, she is the host, like you say. She's the host of TAG, the inaugural attention getters. The host, that dang Rima. So, let's get into a little something about yourself a little more, you know. So, I heard you say, you know, this is your, um, of course, I know, you know, of course. It's your first hosting event, you know what I'm saying? So we was going through the show, putting it together, you know what I'm saying? Actually, we give credit to Cole. It's like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? How about you step the Rima, you know what I'm saying? It was saying? a long Say time coming. Home. It was a long time coming. Yeah, you know, and we honestly, we've been, you know, as we've been, you know, brewing up energy and, mm -hmm. and meddling and bouncing off things, I know I can foresee some of the things happening. I foresaw this moment because I know, know what you really do, what your character really is, what your talents for the y'all, your personality, but not that many people outside know. So um, let me ask you this. What made you, you know, um, I know you said some of this before, you may have mentioned some online, but what made you, why all of a sudden now, why are you deciding to, um, you know, come out in the open and show people more of what you really are, more of who you really are in the form of like this hosting? Why now? Why now? Well, I mean, the present is a gift. You know, I'm ready for my gifts, you know. Um, but, yeah, I feel like that's just what I'm feeling. You know, I, I feel like I've always been pushed to, like, step into this role. Like, it's a lot of people that has always realized, you know, my talents, my gifts. Like you said, people yeah. who know me well has, have been, you know, able to be next to, able to be next to me yeah. um, in this thing called life. But, you know, I don't know. I was just afraid, I guess. You know, y'all know how it is out here in this world. People are cruel. And I'm sensitive. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, true. I don't know what I might do. You feel <laughs> me? I don't know if I'm going to be sad and crying, if I'm going to blow some shit up. I don't know. That's scary. You feel me? And, true. But, you know, I, I just feel like I'm at, I'm mature enough now and uh, I'm ready. You feel okay. me? I'm ready. Um, I feel like I'm ready to stop holding back. Okay. You know, I feel like I'm not only being a disservice to myself, but a disservice to others, those who look up to me, those who may need my voice, those who may, you know. Um, so I thought about that, too, you yeah. know, and... Um, Okay. I can't, I don't, that's not what I represent. You feel me? I got to walk how I talk it. Walking how I talk it. You straight feel up. me? So. <laughs> Just straight up. Just straight up. That's real. Yeah. So, okay. So, it's like. Um, no time better than now. And correct me if I'm wrong. Like you said, no no better time than right now. So, it's like a um, a point of maturity maturing as well maturity like i said you spoke of like something bigger than just you you know um and, and really to step up into that role you know what I'm so i can relate no time better than now so mm -hmm. okay so hosting you know what i'm saying this is your first hosting gig first yeah. hosting event correct you yeah know? officially you know officially Official. so um let's talk about tag some you know what i'm saying like what are you expecting I mean, let's say this is the person that, you know, they may not know, they may not have heard of you. They may not just know you personally. When they come to the attention, get a show, what do you expect? What are they going to get out of that dang Rima? 
being the host of the show? What can we expect? I mean, for the people who know me, know me, they probably won't be surprised. The only thing they might be surprised at is like, dang, like, she doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? She actually <laughs> doing that, yeah. you know? But yeah. um, for the people who don't know me, they might be like, that day Reba for all this time, you feel me? <laughs> uh, I'm just looking to bring, because I've always been kind of quiet in my shell. I mean, some people might be like, nah, you ain't really been shy. But for me, you know, because I know myself, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. And for me, I know how much I've been holding back, you know? Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just looking to bring a lot of energy. I'm looking to uh, make people feel good, have fun. Okay, um, okay. Learn some things, you know what I'm saying, willingly, you know, yeah. because the vibe's good. Yeah. And the vibes are righteous, you know, yeah. and yeah, I'm just ready to bring it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, okay, you mentioned something earlier as well about um, being in your shell, being in the comfort zone. Like, um, if you could speak to this, elaborate some more on what this means more to you, you know, more than just hosting an event or well, like putting my name on, I'm doing it. But like you say, um, you come up with purpose with it too. You ain't just right. saying like, hey man, I want to get out here, it's cool. You see it's something bigger, like, so um, speak on that, speak on that more. Like, what exactly is that, you know what I'm saying? I know I lost my train of thought a little bit, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> but basically I was just summing up and culminating that it's, it means more than just I'm jumping out here trying to stunt. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you can just speak on exactly like your transformation again. That's what I meant to go. You talked about being in your shell and, and leading up to right now. Where's your headspace? Where did that inspiration come from? You know what I'm saying? For you to like start to step more into this role, more public. You know what I'm saying? Well, how you're displaying your character, your talents, et cetera. Um, I mean, behind closed doors, you know, um, people that know me, they know like we have some real deep conversations, tough conversations, um, conversations about things that might cause some controversy. People don't want to talk about. It might cause pain. It might cause emotions to come out. It might not feel good, you know. Yeah. Um, and I just realized how important it is to bring that out because like. No matter how much people try to like pretend like their life's so perfect, like we all really in the same boat and we really all be going through stuff, you know? Yeah. Cause money can't buy everything and that's just the truth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, so at the end of the day, I get it. All the, you know, material things, not, I'm not against that. I'm just, I just feel like it's important things that, um, that is very important and necessary for us to discuss and resolve in order for things to change, things yeah. that we all want to change, things yeah. that we all speak about, things that we all go through. You know what I'm saying? We lose people to unnecessary events, Yeah. you know, whether it be health related, whether it be violence related whether it be you know just yeah. some it's just a whole plethora of things which means we don't really have time to really just have fun all the time or have fun all the time like the serious things have to be fun mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i just feel like i have a lot to say mm -hmm. you know whether it be through hosting whether it be through videos or um through my natural vibing mm -hmm. my natural vibes brand which is really all about being yourself and not being afraid, even if you're different, okay. you know, even if it's not, you know, the common thing, you know, because I'm different. I, I feel like I'm different. You feel me? And that's, that's why right. I feel like I always been in my shell. Okay. You know, all right. but y'all about to find out. Okay. Yeah. See, so let's see. I mean, like I say, it's a common thing. Like what I do like and what I do respect is that, um, you're using the energy, like you say, to just step up and do something more than just strictly entertain, you know what I'm saying, or quote-unquote have fun. Mm -hmm. um, 
<clears throat> excuse me, I know, tag the attention, get it. It's a dynamic show. But one thing I do know, there's going to be messages and real shit sprinkled throughout that whole show. For you know sure. what I'm saying? So the shit that you're talking about even right now is going to relate to the show because you're going to constantly hear messages, I know, from the artists, that from our personal experience with them, and, you know, and definitely Ethio South, you know what I'm saying, see the boy shit. So, Thanks. all right, so let's get a little bit into that dang Rima herself, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell the people, like, you know, where you, what's, what's the origin of your style? I mean, like, what's, if you had to sum up your personality... You know what I'm saying? Sum up your, you know what I'm saying, your vibes, just your essence of who you are. In a handful of words, just um give me some give me some descriptives. I mean, that dang Rima, like, I feel like I always been free spirited, you know, okay. from birth. Um, that can be looked at as a little wild or, you know, defiant mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, it's not um proper. You know what I'm saying? Not proper or whatever, but Okay. You know, free spirited from birth. Um, obviously, being brown has, um, can, you know, it comes with a lot of different and unique experiences. And obviously, um, you know, I, I, I can't ignore it, even if I don't speak out about it as a child. But I, it, it was always so intense for me. To, like for me, I felt like I I have to speak about it, and I've, I always have, from a child. Um, so that's kind of where my like I guess rebel, what they want to call it, my rebel spirit. My mom, I feel like I get a lot of that from my mom because okay. she, you know, obviously the generation before me, obviously she experienced some things that I ain't experienced, but I heard about. She told me about. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I just always, I feel like I just always had the essence of that, that brown skin, you know, that flavor and that real shit. Like, let's talk about some G shit. You okay. feel me? Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's just naturally. Shout just, out to mama. It's just, just naturally <laughs> your vibe. Shout out to mama, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's real. So in steels, I can see some of this influence because a common narrative I hear, like I say, just through this interview, is a, it's a level of seriousness, it's a level of responsibility, you know what exactly. I'm saying, and just an attempt to step up, to be greater, to be bigger, you know what I'm saying? Definitely where we come from as, as black people here in the country, in the world, you know what I'm saying? So I can exactly. relate to the plight, you know what I'm saying? It's something I think we all, even outside of black people, that we, like you said earlier, we all are holding back to a degree exactly. or maybe trying to hide these things. So kudos and shout out to you. Yes. Like, you come know? on, y'all. Let's go. You know. Come on. Let's come out together. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. To right. everybody who want to come out, like, you feel me, and do this real shit and don't be scared, you know, you know we stronger together. You feel you know me? What I'm saying? Tag you it. Tag you it. Tag you it. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Tag you <laughs> it. The intention. Good. That's for yeah. real. I, I concur. So. Okay, get ready to wrap this thing up, man. Conclude, you know, like, okay, you coming into the show, you've seen the lineup of performing artists, you kind of oh, know you yes. inside involved, of course, with the production. I'm excited. If it's something you can tell the people, like, when y'all come to tag, what do you feel from the artists and the whole vibe that the people going to get, the attendees that come out to the inaugural Attention Getter show? I'm, wait, look, hey. Y'all in for a treat. Okay. Um, it's about setting standards. You feel me? It's a way to do everything. It's different components. It's all about, you know, dotting your I's, crossing your T's, paying attention to detail, having purpose. Because the purpose is what motivates you to want to get it right. You mm -hmm. feel me? On all aspects, you know? So... Like you said, it's, it's going to be an experience, a, a great experience, a unique experience. Mm -hmm. We have a great lineup. I'm excited because some of them I haven't seen personally. I'm excited because obviously I heard about them. You feel me? Yeah. So um, I'm even looking to be awed. You feel me? From yeah. the work that I know I've put in and what tag team put in That's and right. what the, all the artists bring into the table and just they all phenomenal people to work with. And I'm excited myself. So, hey, just look forward to only the best 
for the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. <laughs> All right, please. Mm-hmm. That dang Rima. Tell them where they can find you online if they want to look you up. Any closing remarks you want to give to the people? Go ahead, please. Let them know. Okay, you can find me. I'm now on TikTok at that dang Rima, D A T D A N G R I M A, that dang Rima on TikTok. On Facebook and Instagram at the Crochet Lady 717, T H E C R O C H E T L A D Y 717. At 717. No, at the Crochet Lady 717. Y'all know what I mean. (laughs) Um, And I'm also on Instagram and Facebook at Natural Vibes 2020. N-A-T-U-R-A-L-V-I-B-E-Z 2020. Facebook and Instagram. And, you know, closing it out with be yourself. Learn, grow. Um, don't be afraid of those type of those things. You know, we it's so much more that we can be going through. Let's embrace those things. Be yourself, be yourself, be a motherfucking self. Oh, and son. love one another and don't hold back on your talents. Shine. Shine, shine baby, shine. Shine, baby. baby, shine. That's what's up. The queen lady. <laughs> Karima Brown, that dang Rima, the crochet lady, natural vibes, give her thanks for your time. The attention getters, y'all look out for her. She's special. She holding it down with the energy of the host. Shout out to Ethio South Music. Shout out to Stop It Media LLC. You know, black owned yeah, yeah, businesses, yeah. y'all. Tampa, check them out. Yeah, that's real. Give thanks. Yeah. <laughs>